Good afternoon. This is Tanisha Laverne Graham with BlackInAmerica.com. Super excited to bring to the platform two of my favorite young beauties in television. They are amazing on 20s. I have fallen in love with the show. I have fallen in love with these characters. I have Jojo Gibbs and Gabrielle Graham who play Patty and Mia. How are you ladies doing this morning? Amazing. How are you today? Are you? Fantastic. I'm fantastic. I just love this show. I just love this show. And as somebody who was well over 45, I was just like, okay, <laughs> how is this show going to, you know, appeal to my generation? But the fact is we've all been 20 something. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've all been 20 something. You know, I came of age in LA and, you know, like your characters trying to you know, navigate my way in the Hollywood space in my career. You know, Jojo, I want to start with you. Like, what have you learned um, that fascinates you about your character? You know, what has your character taught you about yourself in this journey? Um, well, I love how sure of herself Hattie is. Well, you know, in terms of her uh, personal life, you know, she doesn't try to, you know, minimize or mute herself in any type of way. Um, in terms of her disposition or the way she uh, portrays her aesthetic and things of that nature or the way she loves, you know, mm -hmm. and so all of those things like she's just unapologetically her, um, you know, maybe there was another time in her life that that wasn't the case, but at this moment in her 20s in her um, trying to figure things out that's not something that's on her plate of the to do list of you know coming out the closet, which I think for a lot of people, you know, that is kind of the, well, for myself, I know, you know, as we saw on the Thanksgiving episode of Master of None for Lena too, you know, sometimes it isn't until you're out of the house in your 20s, grown as you can be, that you come out to your family and your parents, and it is a thing, but that doesn't seem to be the case for Hattie, and I love that for her. I love that, and you know, you know, we just, we love Nia, I, I just, I mean, she's, she's amazing. You know, Gabrielle, like what has your character taught you about yourself? Um, well, I love that Nia is so openly like loving and empathetic and understanding of everyone around her. Um, and I'm just not, and I think this just showed me like how much I'm not that and how much I need to work on that. Oh, um, wow. <laughs> really? Really, Gabrielle? I think I'm naturally just like, I took a long time to warm up to people. I'm naturally like, oh. a off what's person. your sign? What's your sign? That's there. Oh, I know she's like, that makes sense. <laughs> but the thing is, Gabby doesn't really give herself enough credit. I don't think that you give yourself enough credit for how calm, cool, collected you give off that energy you know it's really not until you give us a peek into your mind that we even realize that you're feeling this way so. uh, <laughs> I love it I, I love it um Jojo what do you think are you know some of the biggest misnomers that young creatives have about working in a Hollywood space and being on set day to day like everybody sees you guys on television now you know you're from North Carolina Jojo mm -hmm. um UNC you know grad, grad graduated I'm sorry from UNC Chapel Hill correct mm -hmm. yes ma'am so it's just like okay you have you know all these young artists who are now looking at you and they're excited they're like all right she did it I'm going in right after her you know what do you think some of like the biggest misnomers that these young people may have about working in the industry and everything that you're faced with like day to day. I mean, for example, getting up and doing press and all this other stuff and having to answer some of the same questions over and over again, which I'm trying so hard to avoid. You guys, oh no, it's <laughs> trying to keep it fresh. Oh yeah, no, I appreciate that question. Um, I think one of the biggest things is um, you gotta believe in yourself. You know, mm. there is no blueprint and I, I know Gabby can attest to this. In terms of pursuing acting, you can go, you know, get a theater degree and things of that nature. And hopefully that all, you know, gets you to where you want to be. But unlike, you know, being a lawyer or a doctor or even studying to be, I don't know, a mechanic, you there is no blueprint. There is no you put in this amount of hours and you get this in return or you pass this test and you get that. Um, so you have to walk in faith for me that's what worked for me um I don't truly believe I would have been able to 
uh, go on this journey if I didn't believe in a higher power. And, you know, Mm -hmm. that can be whatever you choose to believe in. But I had to see something. I had to believe that there was more than just me working towards this goal, you know. And of course, I had amazing friends. Um, Some of my family members initially um, were very, you know, positive and, you know, um, you know, it's just you have to walk with almost like a delusional sense of confidence. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I love how you put that, Jojo. Yeah. I so, really yeah. love how you put that because I've <laughs> often said to myself over the years, I'm just delusional, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just delusional. Um <laughs> What about you, Gabrielle, like in your goings on, like, have you ever come across, you know, young people, you know, who just have this wild idea of how they think life in the industry or life as an actress is? Yeah. It's literally like a job. I think it's like, first, it's of, li- all, first of all, ladies, not to cut you off, but I love how everybody is just short, uh-huh. you know, yeah. we're just, you know, bald, but know. you know, we're just, <laughs> all space here like all <laughs> oh, this all energy <laughs> go ahead Gab. go ahead <laughs> no it's like people see like this I think the celebrity of it and like the the the, the photos on google mm. like the like the glamour of it and I don't I think they don't realize like that it is a job that you have to sometimes you have to wake up at like four in the morning you have a 4 a.m mm. call like it's like it's it's hard work um and you have to put in the hours to sustain a career in acting as well so you have to i think people need you have to look at yourself and and see how much you love it like how much do i actually love it that i'm willing to like get all this rejection that i'm willing to i have a friend that's facing a lot of like backlash from something that she said on like Uh. a new and saying and like how much how how much willing are you able to are you going to be able to take that um because even for me sometimes I'm like this is so hard but there's something in me that's always like just keep going because I love it that much Mm -hmm. so um, yeah just think about that how much I love that I love that And, and you know it's it's so crazy I remember Omari Hardwick um had some commentary about being a public figure and an artist in this social media culture. And, you know, we're really the first generation. We are the first generation that has had to be so open. You know, like we're we're open to every, like everybody feels like they have access to us via these social media platforms, mm-hmm. you know, and it could be a little bit jarring. I mean, Jojo, do you read some of the commentary, you know, when people are trying to come for you? Like, how, how do you, how do you reconcile all of that? You know, I'm gonna be honest, um, knock on wood, I ain't never seen nothing negative about me. <laughs> I yeah, like I'm gonna knock on wood, thank you, Lord. But I I've seen criticisms of the character, you know, and maybe they don't agree with what she's doing, but I don't take that personally. I'm just right. like you said, at the end of the day, it's a job. I read, I show up, I look at the script and I try to do my best portrayal of what I think that they're trying to portray. You know, um, other than that have an opinion i love i had a friend recently who told me that the editor like i don't know it skipped the beat and the headphones was dead and the headphones was gone and i was like oh okay well oh I'm yeah glad, i'm glad you're watching so intently that yeah, i love that noticed. i love that that's but amazing you, yeah that's amazing. You that you know but at the end of the day you know it's art it's human maybe they meant to do <laughs> who knows you know i get it I get it. You guys are so amazing. Besides youth, what is your number one beauty product before we wrap this up? Like, (laughs) Jojo, what's in your bag that you have got to have? Like, what is it? I got to have my Cetaphil face wash. Oh, I used to love Cetaphil. Good one. Good one. What about you, Gabrielle? Um, I'd say sunscreen. I get, I have hyperpigmentation, so sunscreen is really important for me. I love that. I love that. You guys, ladies, congratulations on all your success. You have such a beautiful career ahead of you. I will be following closely. I cannot wait to see what comes down the pipeline for you. You guys, if you have not tuned into 20s, you should be ashamed of yourself. I absolutely (laughs) love this series. These two characters, these two ladies are amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing as Hattie and Nia. Again, you're watching Tanisha Laverne Grant for blackinamerica.com. Bye, guys. Thank you.